Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited to have you guys here. If you guys are new, my name is Lorena Aguirre and I post here on my YouTube channel every Monday and Saturday. So please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. And let's go ahead and jump in because we are going to be filming so much great content for you guys. And I am going to be showing you guys behind the scenes and what I use to start my YouTube channel. So let's go ahead and jump in. guys um now that you guys are all here something that i do really 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 want to mention is if you guys are looking to get into youtube or you guys just want to be content creating and things like that and be posting all of your work out there i definitely recommend get started get started now don't wait until you have this that and this and that all you really need is good lighting and you need a camera so and everybody has a phone so you guys are able to film honestly when i first started out my phone is what i used for my youtube to film the whole entire videos um and i would try to figure out crazy different ways to have my phone up and then eventually i was like okay you know what this is finally a problem i can afford to get a stand now so i'm gonna splurge on a stand so the first stand that I did end up getting was this Archon mount. It has almost like, um, I kind of want to say like a gooseneck type of thing going on. You could angle this any which way you want, put it this way, put it that way, any way you want to put on there, you can. And it comes with um, a thing for the camera. This is actually from the latest Archon mount. I don't know if they put these ones on now, but I love this one a lot better than my other one. The other one, you actually had to put a ball bit in here and then tighten it and especially for me when i was switching back and forth from dslr and a phone to be recording my stuff it actually made it a lot harder um if you guys are looking into content creating i definitely recommend getting an overhead mount or this one right here this one actually i've been gravitating back towards more especially because you guys like the angle with this one more as well i do like having the option of the overhead as well because i do feel like i'm able to see a lot more in certain cases um especially if i'm filming on clients doing this one this one is a little bit in the way especially at the angle that you guys do like that i do with this one so but they have two different versions this is a base one where you could just put it on top of your desk um but if you have a really really big dslr it is gonna tip over so um that is something important to know sometimes like especially if it's angled like this you really want to make sure the diamond or the point is facing towards this because it gives it more of like a tip resistant thing unless you have it like this it's so much easier to fall so um that's something to keep in mind when you do have a big dslr on there but honestly be very very careful because there's been times where it's tipped over and it had my camera on there and my camera it is an expensive camera to me um, and you can't just be afford to be throwing like things out there all the time all the time so the great thing about this real quick I do want to go over it you can move it anywhere you want have it on the floor and even extend this and it tightens right here and it has this knob you could turn this any way you want and same things with these and then if you do end up getting the updated thing of this, this is great because your camera could actually go right here or you could screw this little thing on. But make sure not to do it too, too tight just because then after it kind of gets stuck on there. Um, there is other really, really great alternatives when it comes to filming. I am going to go ahead and link them in my link tree and make sure to check up out my Amazon favorites and for content creating it will all be in there because there's actually other things that I have used that are actually a lot more affordable so you guys I did want to put this in here because this was actually a gem for me when I did find this this is a phone stand and basically you are able to prop it up watch videos and things like that but you guys could actually use this for content creating as well because it actually props the phone up so perfectly and you're able to kind of like even twist and turn the phone how you want it. If you guys do want a review on this or me to show you guys in a later video, I love this thing. So this is great for making videos as well. If you want something that is less bulky and it doesn't take up as much space because I know not everybody is able to have all these mounts, especially if you're working in a salon and things like that. Alright you guys, this is another um, phone stand 
tablet stand I have seen other people use and that they say that they love. So I definitely want to try and get one of these for myself, but I think it's great because you're able to tilt the phone back and forth and you're able to raise it and lower it and you're able to put your phone and your tablet on and that's important for me because not all of them is able to withhold the weight of a tablet but I love that because I feel like it keeps the tablet off of the desk and so if I did want my clients to watch a movie or things like that I could use it for that and for filming as well so honestly i I want to get one of these. I've seen it all over Instagram and things like that. So definitely recommend checking this one out as well. Um, this is also great for TikToks, Reels, anything like that. If you are wanting to use um, anything like that, you could kind of get more bang for your money. And if you want to have the camera set up in front of you, it actually goes really tall if you straighten this out. But honestly, straightening it out, honestly, I do feel like it's a little bit of a pain for me. But I do also have another one that I'm going to go ahead and actually insert it right here just because of the fact that I can't take it off of my desk and my desk is a hot mess so I don't really want you guys to see it right now. But um, it is a mount that clamps onto the desk and it goes over and over and then you're able to extend it up and then you're able to extend it over this way and things like that and you could angle it. Um, it only angles kind of like this. It doesn't have as mobility as the one that I just showed you. But honestly, you guys... If you guys could even get cheaper ones than these ones, just because these retail for about like a hundred and something for each one. But it is a great investment um, to have, especially if you're going to be doing videos and stuff like that. And then a ring light. A ring light. I really enjoy using my ring light for videos. If you guys had seen my other video that I had posted, I talked about how I didn't like it for pictures and it's just pictures in particular that I don't really like it for that. But for videos, I think a ring light is great because it gives a big old thing of light and it's something that you really need when you are doing your videos because you don't want it to be super dim. Um, and for the camera that I do use is the Sony a6400 and honestly, you guys, I love my camera. I got it actually as a Christmas gift. So little by little, I ended up getting all of my stuff. I didn't have it all at once. And don't feel the need to go out and just splurge on all these items right away. Get a feel for if you want to do YouTube, if you want to do content creating. Because honestly, it is like another job in itself having to do the edits and things like that. Just because a lot of times the videos are two hours maybe three hours long depending on the sets that I'm doing and I have to cram it into 30 to 25 minutes for you guys so it does take a little bit of time doing that and cutting the clips and editing the clips and making sure that there's not a lot of wasted space are things that you guys are going to get bored of because especially with Instagram and things like that um they don't like to push your video out there for other um viewers to see if there's a lot of click through so it's like if you're tapping through the videos it's um chances are your video is not going to be out there more if there's not people engaging with it liking commenting and all that jazz so when you guys do find a video that you do like it is great for any creator if you do show some love and support on the videos because it really really helps especially how much energy and time we put into these videos usually a video usually takes me anywhere for like kind of like three hours to edit making sure i get everything in there doing the thumbnails doing the hashtags doing everything for the video so be prepared if you guys are looking to get into youtube because of that um but the ring light, I think it's great because it holds your camera. My camera is actually on the ring light right now. Um, and I love it for my intros. I love it for doing the videos. Videos, I feel like it is just great to have. guys. And I want to talk about the phone that I have for my Reels. My phone is kind of beat up, so please do not judge me. I need to get a new one. But I do use this one right here. It is a Samsung. And it does the job just well. A lot of my videos that you see right now, if you guys were to go on my Instagram, that's the kind of job that it does and i do see people actually using the flash while they are doing their videos and i do want to try that out i have yet to try that out but nails by jessica she is a really really big gel x artist so i recommend you guys checking her out as well but in a video i had seen she actually had the flash on and i never thought about doing that i don't know why but i feel like before i didn't really like um using flash on my flash photography on my my nail sets when i was with the final product 
Okay, you guys, and the next thing that I do want to mention is when I am filming what I use, I definitely really make sure to use a nice clean background. So I actually ended up getting this really big tile. Let me go ahead and grab it for you guys. But I ended up getting this really big tile. This tile is from Lowe's, I believe. You guys can get this in the tile section. Um, usually some of the boxes are open and you're able to get one of these big bad boys out and it just gives a nice clean light background especially because if you guys seen in my pictures and things like that i use a poster board to um have my background on just because my desk is black and i don't really like the way the pictures look on a black background but with the white background i just feel like it looks nice light elegant fresh and clean so that is why i love that um but yeah, so anything light, if you guys could get your hands on this, I actually just keep this in the middle of my desk. But something to keep in mind is lift it up and clean underneath in between every client just because there is dust. So if you guys are content creating while you are doing um, your sets of nails, because a lot of times that's what I'll do is I'll put my camera on my mount and I will take videos and this will actually be my background. I'm sure if you guys follow me on TikTok, Instagram and all that jazz, you guys will be able to see this on there. But I do really want to get a plain, bright, white one. I feel like this one is kind of getting a little bit old, but you know what? I'm going to make do for a little while longer because there is some changes that I'm going to be making, you guys. So definitely make sure to follow me on all platforms if you guys are interested in seeing what is going to be in store, you guys. So that is pretty much it, what I use for my filming. Um, if you guys want a little bit more on how I do my pictures, I definitely recommend checking out that video because it shows the light, the camera, um, props that I use, and things like that, and things that I would recommend for you guys so definitely make sure to check out that video i hope you guys really enjoyed today's content please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to the channel and as always i'll be back with more videos bye